Well, you can't get much bigger than the chairman of the Cordish companies, David Cordish. David, you referred out there at the opening press conference that you've been operating for since June out of a side door. How exciting is this to have the front door open? Well, it's a great question. It is beyond exciting. I, it is off the charts. Um, happiness, really, for the company. And you can see how the people are responding to it. This is a weekday, and we are packed. And it's because people, for the first time, get to see the full Maryland live. You know, we're standing under a magnificent chandelier, a port cacher, which is you wouldn't find in Las Vegas. And uh, we've been doing great. Now you'll really see our smoke because did, you've got a full casino. Did government officials underestimate just what the demand for gaming was in this state, David? I, I don't think so. Um, they may have underestimated Maryland Live. Uh, but, um, you know, it remains to be seen how big the pie is. And if you slice it up, how far you can keep slicing it. I feel confident in our position because of where we're located, and the highways, the parking we've got, uh, and the amenities. But um, how, how, how thin you can slice it, we'll have to see. Hey, I know you didn't, don't want to talk politics, but i got to slide in one thing. Whatever the eventuality of November is, you are positioned to handle whatever the end result is, aren't you? That's very well said. Um, we're the dominant casino now. We will remain the dominant casino. If the voters decide to add table games, we're fully prepared to do it. Uh, like happy to do it, excited to do it, but it isn't necessary that we do it. What? We have table games now. They're electronic. People are lining up to play poker and blackjack and roulette and craps, and the odds are identical, and they'll go right on doing that. If we can add some live dealers, because that's what the voters want, then we'll do it. Hey, has this incredible success and the energy you put into this, has it taken any of your interest away from your first love, Hopkins Lacrosse? Absolutely not. The Blue Jay uh, love and the Cordish family connection with it is unbroken. In fact, I'm playing in the alumni game in about three weeks where we old guys play the varsity. And um, uh, there's a building about to open on Homewood Field that we had a little to do with that I think is going to take the program. I don't know if you can go to another level because it's already pretty high level. But now that's, that goes back to when I was seven, eight years old. I backed up the goals at Hopkins and I've been connected ever since. Played there and still very close to the program. Thank you very much for your time, David Cordish.